problem number 14, it's on, um, this is one of those problems that's a little bit to kind of uh, easy to overthink. So what they're saying is that we have this, um, this uh, N 23.84,3.56 model. And um, what happens is that the, the cops uh, stand at this, uh, the street corner and they start giving out a bunch of tickets to people. And the people that they're giving out tickets to, they're going a mean of 28 miles per hour. So this is an N28. And the standard deviation of these drivers that, that the cops are seeing um, is 2.4 miles per hour. So what the question is asking is, um, they also tell us that there was, a, there was a maximum speed, let's write a different color here. There was a maximum speed of 33 miles per hour. And there was an IQR of 3.2 miles per hour. So it's easy to kind of get confused here thinking what is like why are they bringing up IQR when I'm dealing with a normal model but let's look at the questions that they're asking first they're saying is that local law prescribes fines of $100 plus $10 per mile over speed limit Mosul mile over speed limit so for example so I'm going 28 miles per hour, and the speed limit, if you recall, is 20 miles per hour. I'm going 8 miles over the speed limit. So my ticket is going to be $100, that's my flat charge, plus $10 times 8, which is the number of miles that I'm going over the speed limit. So that would be 100 plus 80, that would equal 180 miles, $180 is my ticket if I'm going 28 miles per hour. So what, so what this question is asking us to do is just figure out different fines for various of the, um, the measures of center and spread, or position and spread would be better. So we've already found what is the ticket going to be if you're going the mean that the, that the cops found. And here's the mean. And then they want to know what's the ticket going to be um, for the maximum. Well, they told us the maximum is 33, is 33 miles per hour. So I'd have $100 plus 10 times 33 minus 20, because 20 was my speed limit. So it would be $100 plus 10 times 13. So that's going to give us um, $230. It's going to be the ticket for the maximum speed limit violation. Well, now they want to know what's the, uh, the, the fine related to the standard deviation. And this is kind of a weird question. I can't say that I like it, but I'm going to explain it anyways. The standard deviation in their model that they found for the speeders was 2.4 miles per hour. So um, what they're trying to get us to see is that the standard deviation of 2.4 miles per hour is a measure of spread. It is not a measure of position. So the hundred dollars flat that we're adding to or subtracting from the uh, to, to figure out the cost of the ticket, that's really not relevant in this particular question. All we want to do is, is go 2.4 times um, 10. And that would give us um, $24.
So all we're doing is we're converting essentially the, the miles over the speed limit from, um, from miles to dollars. And the fact that it's $100 in either direction is the same thing as just shifting the histogram left to right. That's not really having an impact. And similarly with the IQR, again, IQR is a measure of spread, not a measure of position. So if the IQR is 3.2, Again, I would just go up with 3.2 miles, but now I'm changing that into dollars. I just multiply it by 10, so the answer is $32.